Good morning, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I came to the gate and I've given a little bit of hay as a distraction so I can come out here and film this for you. I want to talk to you today about what I'm finding to be the best foragers on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Piper. She hasn't gone back into heat, y'all. We'll see how this is doing. So here's the deal. You can see a few of them walking back here. You can see some down in here. And where is my new girl? There, oh, there she goes. So when I came out to film the video, the particular birds that I'm going to talk to you to, about today were way up there by themselves. Just a little group. I got, I got a little posse going on up there. They are my best foragers. <laughs> Say hello. Might have a nosy rosy and a little bit of a photo bombing going on back here. Oh yes, we know you've got to be in the picture. You always are in here. Yes, 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 speckles. But here's the deal guys, people ask me, in fact it's ironic because today I even got the question in my premium group, name your favorite dual purpose chickens. Well, I have a long list. But I have been meaning actually to film what I have discovered lately and what I have been most impressed by. And that is the Brahma. Now I have had Brahmas for several years. You've seen them featured in several of my videos. But I've only had the light ones because that's all I could ever find is when I could, other than ordering them or getting the eggs shipped or whatever, um, which I've never done that. Um, I've always picked up baby chicks from the co-op or from the farm supply store. And I always get them in uh, Sweetwater. They always have a really good mix. They always have the light, which is what you're seeing here. Boy, they've been drinking. It's hot today this morning. I'm out here in a jacket. But Brahmas, if you do a little bit of history on them, um, folks will talk about how they originally came from India and that we started importing them in from China. They are a dual purpose breed, um, a wonderful bird, very easy going. A little bit aloof, but very friendly. Never had trouble with any of my Brahmas. I have had both, both roosters and hens. In fact, I wouldn't mind having another rooster. In fact, I may look into that actually. So this year, I, I was at the co-op and I was getting some baby chicks and they had gotten in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can you see? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where, where is she? She's walking. <laughs> there she is. Buff. I thought, you know, I've always had the light. I don't want to get too many chicks today. So just grab me one of those. I'm going to try them out. I'm going to try them out. The point that I'm making to you is I really like the buff Brahma. And the reason being is because you can see she is more camouflaged. She's kind of like a caramel color. Okay. And of course, they do have the feathering uh, down the shanks. They do have uh, the feathering on the toes. They have he more heavy feathering. And so... You know, you do have a bigger bird there. Now, they lay about 150 eggs a year, if you look up the statistics. So they're not going to be your heaviest layer, okay? So you need to understand that. But they do get massive. They are originally known to be excellent meat birds. They were not known as dual purpose per se. They're really more known as being a meat bird, but they do give you a considerable amount of eggs. So here's where I'm going with this. They forage like crazy. I've got a little posse, as I call it, a little group, a little, a little clan of Brahmas that stick together, including the buff, and then a couple of the white rocks. So we can talk about white rocks. We've talked about them before, um, but the white rocks, they are the first, this whole little group are the first to go out in the mornings, and they are the last to come in. They stay out almost all day long. No joke. It's going to be interesting to see how that continues through the winter. So I am testing that because this is a very young group down here. This is just some of them. Um, but I will tell you, I have made a point for sure that if I continue to add a certain breed going forward, it is definitely going to be the buff Brahma. Because I have had an issue here or there a little bit, as you know, with a possum. Uh, we, could, we could potentially at any point have an, an issue with hawks, which we've been very lucky with that. So I do like the idea of a bit more of a camo if I can get it. If I can get a good egg layer, a friendly bird, um, something fairly docile and easy to care for, and is managing its own feed system 
out on its own, that is a major win-win situation for me. Because you will find a lot of your, while I love a lot of your heavy, heavy, heavy egg layers, they like to stay a little bit closer to the barn. Yes, they do. And they have a little bit more higher of an expectation in terms of treats and feed than what I'm finding with these Brahmas. Light and buff. Now, I've never had the dark, um, and I will be glad to try them out if, if I come across them. I'll be trying them too for sure. So I just want to throw this at you because I've been asked the question again about my favorite breeds. And guys, I could talk about different chicken breeds all day long. But I do think that if you have the, look, going on out, let's go. They're going back out there. And you'll have a few more. There they are right there. there. See them right there? There. They will all head up there. They will hang out practically all day. They'll come in if I throw a little treat down here, get a drink of water, and they'll head back out. Really phenomenal. So you might really want to consider looking into them, studying them. And if you are mixing your flock, which I recommend for a lot of people to try out several breeds, even if it's a small flock of six, eight, ten chickens, try two or three different breeds out because you're going to find out more of what you like and what fits for your area after you do your research. All right, guys. Are you just chilling? Are you chilling, baby? Are you chilling, baby? <laughs> Mama's chilling. Cool. She knows I don't have a treat. You make me work it, girl, don't you? <laughs> all right, guys. We hope to see you on the next video. We hope you're doing well with all your fall prep and getting everything ready. We have 75 more bales of hay coming. <gasps> so we got a lot of work we've got to finish up today to finish prepping the barn for that additional third load of hay. And we may have to get a fourth because we've got a lot of mouths to feed, right? Don't we? <laughs> Y'all take care out there, and we will talk to you soon.